Hello. Many years ago, I was touring the States with a group of other writers, many of us guests of the US State Department, and it was an extraordinary pleasure and privilege. But of course, being writers, plenty of people in the group were always moaning and wondering when they were going to get fed and why there weren't more people coming to hear their readings, etc., etc. And one of the uh, writers uh, in our midst was a, a Polish poet, Marcin Sendeczki, and his catchphrase became, Don't complain! And uh, so whenever I feel like complaining about uh, the privations and limitations of the lockdown, my wife always says, don't complain. And she's right. And when we consider the circumstances that other writers and other people, of course, have had to live through, uh, even in the last hundred years, uh, and yet managed to keep living, managed to keep writing, I think it can be helpful to consider what others went through. Uh, and so I'm indebted again to my friend Casper Henderson for uh, posting on Twitter this wonderful poem by the Russian poet Anna Akhmatova. This poem was written almost exactly a hundred years ago, 99 years ago actually, um, shortly after a, another global pandemic of course, but uh, Anna Akhmatova is writing a poem in the depths of the uh, Russian civil war after the revolution uh, and millions have already died when she writes this poem and everything that had been uh, familiar about the old order had been swept away by the previous few years of conflict. This poem is translated here by Stanley Kunitz with Max Hayward uh, but it's known as Everything is Plundered by Anna Akhmatova. Everything is plundered, betrayed, sold. Death's great black wings scrapes the air. Misery gnaws to the bone. Why then do we not despair? By day, from the surrounding woods, cherries blow summer into town. At night, the deep, transparent skies glitter with new galaxies. And the miraculous comes so close to the ruined, dirty houses. Something not known to anyone at all, but wild in our breast for centuries.